some days you just don't you just don't feel it and sometimes that feeling stretches into weeks and even months today i want to talk about what to do when you don't feel like you're making forward progress my name is seth i'm a full-time fantasy author i've written 26 books i've published most of them and i make these videos because it can be really easy to get lost in this whole being an author thing. And I don't want it to happen to you. Some days when you wake up, writing comes really easily. It can feel like you're making tremendous progress towards your goals. But most days I find that it doesn't feel like that at all. I was a little bit surprised when earlier this week I was talking to someone about this and they seem to think that I never experience this feeling. You know, when we look at someone on social media or someone who seems to be making progress in their life, it's really easy to paint an idealized picture of the way they live. It's really easy to, to think to ourselves, man, this person probably never struggles with any of these issues that I'm going through. They've probably never had to face uncertainty or doubt. They seem to be making so much progress. They seem to be getting ahead. But the reality is that we're all human. We all have bad days. Hopefully we have good days as well. But if you look at an average day for most people, it's not going to be all sunshine and roses. It's going to be a mix of good and bad. And sometimes we go through these seasons of life where things just don't seem to work properly. It's like there's sand in our gears and we just get stuck. So the question is, what do we do in those situations? Well, the truth is that all we can do is suffer. And I know that's not the answer that you probably wanted to hear, but it's the truth. We can either suffer poorly or we can suffer well, but we have to suffer. In Viktor Frankl's book, Man's Search for Meaning, he talks about how there is a certain amount of suffering that all humans will have to go through in their life. Now, this isn't a like deterministic thing. It's not like you're fated to suffer and you like can't avoid it. But the reality is that we live in a world that is full of suffering. And there's a gap between what we desire and what we have. And so suffering will always exist. But he also talks about how we can shift our mindset. We can move from a place of, I can't believe this is happening to me. I wish it wasn't. To a place of, okay, I guess this is the suffering that I'm going to go through today. Now, on a more practical level, I am currently in a season where writing is a lot harder than it used to be. And over my author career, I found that this is sort of a cyclical thing. I go through these seasons where writing just seems to be tough. It's harder to get the words out. It's harder to form the ideas that I want. And then eventually I know that things are going to get easier. I'm going to fall into a groove or a rhythm and for a while things will go well. But because I know that this is a pattern, that there are just these periods where writing is hard, I'm able to say, all right, I'm here. And I'm going to keep at it until I'm not. Sometimes I think we get so caught up in our desire to be somewhere that we forget we have to walk forward in order to get there. One of the ideas that I've been trying to remind myself constantly over the last few weeks is that all I need to do is the work. Putting one foot in front of the other, continuing to just do my work, even when I don't feel like it, is how I move through this season. It's how I get past this difficult period. It's how I overcome the hurdles that are in front of me. It's not always easy to remember, but it is a guarantee that I'm going to make progress. And whether I'm having a good day or a bad day, all of a sudden becomes irrelevant because I'm moving forward. Sure, some days I might not move forward quite as much. Some days I might even feel like I'm moving backwards. But as long as I continue 
to take action, as long as I continue to do the work, no matter how I'm feeling about it, I will continue moving forward. And then one day I'll wake up and I'll sit down to write and the words will flow easily. And when that happens, I'll realize that I am further ahead than I was before. And so regardless of the season that I'm in, regardless of whether things are easy or they're hard, regardless of whether I'm facing giant challenges in my life or just little tiny stumbling blocks, as long as I continue to do the work, as long as I continue to put in effort, as long as I continue to move forward, this season will pass. I think at the core of this philosophy is a very simple idea. It's okay to feel bad. It's okay to not be good at something. It's okay to not be where you want to be. So in your writing, in whatever it is that you are facing, I'd like to encourage you, keep moving forward. No matter how insurmountable the problems seem, the future is brighter. You can get through it. Sometimes it takes putting our head down and just doing the work day in and day out. But I promise you, before you know it, you're going to look up and you're going to see that you've made incredible progress. <laughs>